Thanks for checking out my Blaze.ai tutorial for beginners. Here I'm going to be showing you how to use Blaze.ai from scratch. And if you'd like to follow along, you can click the link in the description or the pinned comment to do so, or simply try them for free. Let's begin. So after getting your free trial, what it's going to do is kind of walk you through the process when it comes to creating a brand kit. What I've done is gone ahead and deleted mine so I can show you how to do that from the beginning as well. So when you're on your dashboard, what you want to do is click on your brand kit section on the left side. All right, if you already have one here, that's where it's going to be. But if it's blank, let's create a new one right here with new brand kit. All right, so here's where you want to enter your website. It says no website, use an industry leader site you like and adjust the brand kit to your liking. So you can do that as well if you want to go about and just kind of change that around. But I'm going to use mine. I don't have a whole lot of stuff on it, so it's not going to be the best example. But once again, I can always just tweak it. Let's click on submit. All right, so it says, let's confirm your new brand kit. It talks about the colors and like the different ones that you can choose here to see if you like it. It looks a little bit better, probably something like this. This is gonna be the image there. The fonts, if you wanna change them around. I'm also gonna do review images. Like I said, there's not too many on mine and it might pick like, this is an AppSumo logo because that was featured there, which doesn't go with my branding. So I'm just gonna click on review images here. And let's say I want to delete this one, like that's me, that's not going to be great based on the colors, but I'll keep it there and let's do review brand voice. All right, so taking it from the top, help to help launch, build and grow your digital business. You can always just change this around. So if it's not perfect, if there's something you see you don't like, you can simply do that. Aspiring digital entrepreneurs. So we have casual, encouraging, friendly, witty, and anything else you want to add in there. Positive and optimistic is fantastic. A trusted advisor, helpful guide. A use direct call to actions. I'd probably say no because I don't want that to be in every single social media post. Keeping sentences concise is something I definitely like like straight to the point and simple and informal looks good let's click on save brand kit let's just do create okay so that's going to be created what i want to do is go back here and i'm just going to kind of reload it here just to make sure it's done now we can go ahead and kind of change the color so if we click right here and do open all right you're going to see how like some of it's going to have the blue and a little bit extra so this is where we want to kind of change the colors here like it took colors for me specifically so say like i'm not going to go like super uh, detailed with this. We also have like a yellowy orange. So something like that. We do have dark. So let's go like that. And there was no red. So we can do something like that. And that looks good. So if I reload this here and I scroll down, you're going to see I now have much more accurate color. So that's going to be the brand kit. You can create with it if you want to do that. I just wanted to showcase that. So if you wanted to use that feature, it's going to be easy for you to do. Let's go back home. All right, if any time you wanna integrate your accounts, you can certainly do that. It's not gonna to be too difficult. If I click on it here, you're gonna to go to connect to LinkedIn and you're pretty much just gonna be following the steps. I don't think that needs a whole lot of tutorial for, so I just wanted to let you know that will allow you to connect where you can post it, you can schedule it and so on and so forth. So let's talk about creating content. But before we do that, you might want some ideas. So we can get fresh ideas by clicking right here, see everything you can do. All right, so we wanna brainstorm ideas. We have content ideas, content plan, blog ideas, newsletter ideas, and social media ideas as well. So let's go with content ideas right here. So give me ideas about, try to be as detailed as possible. Now you can have them fill in the box for you and let's kind of see what it's gonna come up with. Exploring the essential steps for launching a successful digital business, focusing on strategies that can be implemented effectively for optimal results. The cool thing with Blaze, you'll notice that if you type in maybe a sentence or two, it'll have more in here where you can just simply click on tab to accept. So if you did wanna use that, you can. And if you wanted to add more, you're gonna see it just keeps adding. So you you can keep it like this. This probably isn't optimal in terms of ideas. Like the more you have, the better it's going to be. Here is the phrase that I use all the time with AI. The quality of your input is going to be directly related to the quality of the output. A lot of people will use AI and it'll just look so bad. They'll be like, AI is horrible. Never using this again. Not just blaze. I'm saying anything, right? They don't understand that they're not giving it what it needs. My wife is a jeweler as an example, and someone will come in. They want the best ring ever, but they have no idea how to describe it. How can you have one of the best jewelers make you one of the best rings if you don't even know how to describe it in the first place? This is going to be the same thing here. So the more details you have, the more text you input, the better the result that it's going to be. I'm not too focused on getting the best possible result. I just want to show you how this works. So I'm going to stick with that. This is going to be for social media. Let's give it a name. 
All right, I'm gonna be calling it brainstorm ideas. This is just gonna be under demo or you can put it under your specific name or you can do a new project if you wanna do that. How many ideas do you want? Let's go with 10, let's click on generate. All right, and very quickly, so you can highlight an idea and select turn into in the right hand toolbar to transform it into social content, blogs, emails, and more. So if we go like this, you can do the turn into, which is going to be right here. And of course you can do into a single piece of content or even multiple. So if you like something, you can just do it that way quickly. So these are gonna be some of the ideas, identifying your niche, crafting an awesome brand, just in case YouTube doesn't like me saying that, okay? Create compelling content, building an online presence, and all of these look pretty standard and straightforward, but once again, they're ideas. This is just gonna be the big idea, and then of course you create content based upon that. So it kind of spider webs. You have this, and then there's all this content coming from it. You have this, and there's all this content coming from it. And you can post it to Twitter, or X, shall I say, or wherever else you want it to go. And this is going to be what it looks like when you're creating any type of content. It's pretty much like a WordPress page, except there's other things you can do. You can improve the quality. You can edit the tone. You can change the length. You can turn it into, which we talked about. There's SEO analysis. There's a check for plagiarism. And depending on the plan you have, this is going to be very limited. I believe the first plan, which I have, you only get about three a month. Don't quote me on that exactly, but just kind of letting you know, you can copy text to clipboard and you can download post media only. So you can also also share for review if needed. So that's going to be how you use this here. And a lot of the things that you want to do, just simply click on it and you're going to be able to do it. Okay. So that's brainstorming ideas. Let's actually go back and create some content now. So let's go right here and let's click on home. All right. So let's generate some new content right here. Let's do see everything you can do. And there is a lot of stuff. If we go to popular right here, you can see some of the, the most popular things you can do, whether it's video, brainstorming, clean slate, advanced tools, emails. The thing here is that once you know how to create content, it's pretty much going to be virtually the same for any other type. So if I do something a little bit different here, let's say we want to do video uh, and we want to do YouTube from here, we can just do a script. So let's go with the script. All right, so this one I want to be a little bit more specific because it is a script. So there's going to be a lot more room for error if we don't get it right. So give me a moment and I'm going to type in something and be as detailed as possible. All right, so I put why golf is the hardest sport to master. And once again, I really like that it will add more to you. This talks about the unique combination of physical precision, mental discipline. I'm going to click right here uh, and just kind of go off like that, uh, making it not only a test of skill, but also a profound challenge of strategy. Additionally, the mental hurdles. Yes, that's fantastic. I'm going to click there and keep that. So I think that's a good amount that you can create a script based on. If you just want to keep adding more, you certainly can, but I think that's fine. Now this is gonna be the bottom part right here. You can fill it in yourself or have Blaze autofill. I kinda of like doing it myself here, so let's just name it. We'll say like this is the golf script. All right, so this is gonna be a golf script. We can talk about the difficulties of playing golf. It's for amateur golfers. How long should it be? So six to 12 is gonna be fine. This is where the brand kit comes in. If you did wanna use that, I'm not going to specifically, but just kind of showcasing this is gonna be a section where you can use it. More ways to configure it. So if you wanna add any promos, any calls to action, or specific words or phrases, you can do that as well. So, and even a call to action at the end. So like, what do you think about this? leave a comment down below. Or if you're struggling to perfect your golf swing and lower your score, be sure to check out the link in the description for a free golf cheat sheet to help you today. Something like that, right? But this is going to be fine how it is. Let's click on generate titles. Why golf is the ultimate test of skill and strategy, mastering the hardest sport, golf's mental game, swing perfection, the unseen challenges of golf from setbacks to success. I think this is going to be a good one. I don't even know about mastering, like that could be a different video. Something like that probably work well, maybe a little bit more. You can generate new titles if needed. You can write your own, you can edit them, you can change them, obviously pick the one you wanna use and go from there. Let's do generate outline. All right, so while the other sections are gonna be loading, let's take a look at this. Welcome to a journey into a fascinating world of golf where every swing is a new challenge and every hole is a battlefield of skill and strategy. I like that. Very unique. 
Very creative. So we talk about specific things into the unique blend of physical precision and mental fortitude. Okay, you could always make it a little bit shorter if you needed, but not too bad. You can also just regenerate the intro and do it again. So this is your script's outline with numbered sections and bullet subtopics. Press enter to add a new section. Use tab, shift plus tab to indent and unindent lines. Okay. So we have a brief overview, the physical precision required, mental discipline, emotional resilience, strategy and adaptability, golf's unique learning curve, and the conclusion. So overall, these are pretty good when it comes to the difficulties of golf. If you have played it, you will know that it can be quite the challenging sport, especially when it comes to the mental discipline and the emotional resilience. And of course, just playing the game right, right? You know, swinging the golf club, not shanking it, don't hit it in the water. You know, things like that. Don't be happy, Gilmore, unless you're winning, but let's generate the script. You can change these around as needed. All right, and so we are done. Do you like the result? Well, we haven't read it yet. We are familiar with the introduction. And once again, this is going to be a script, so it doesn't have to be perfect in terms of like, you know, this bullet point. Uh, it's more than a simple uh, game of hitting balls in the holes. It's complex. Consistent swing in golf is akin to mastering a delicate art form, is a mental game as it is a physical one. Not super physical, but <laughs> super uh, emotional and mental, I guess you could say. Uh, strategy and adaptability. Uh, I'm just kind of skimming through what you can do. Sometimes people like to read these. I don't want to go through and read all of this. It's going to add like three or four minutes to the video. So uh, I hope you understand that aspect. But once again, the reason why I showed you kind of brainstorming previously, because once again, it's all going full circle. We're going back to the editor here, which just simply reminds me of a WordPress page. Once again, improving the quality, editing the tone. If you wanted to do this, let's just see, you know, Marketing Island, you can do more. Uh, what level of revisions would you like? Could be moderate or it could be heavy. If you click on more here, there's going to be some other types of different voices that you can use, assertive, conversational, and so on and so forth. Let's say we wanted to do funny though, and we can do moderate. Let's just do heavy just to see what it looks like, like a really funny one. Let's do revise. It's probably going to look like Happy Gilmore wrote it, but let's see what it comes up with. All right, so this is going to be the new version. Welcome to the world of golf, where each swing is a new dance move, and each hole might just be the Bermuda Triangle of your golf ball. Not just a day in the park with squirrels, perfect swing, or coffee machine, a mind game, ninja course, emotional roller coaster, strategy, planning, and plotting, like a Monopoly board, but each square is trying to steal your hotels. Wow, it got really witty in that one. So that's going to be an example. If you wanted to do that, you can replace the selection. You can add it below. Like if you wanted to just like replace all that, you can do that. That was just an example. I don't think I want to add some squirrels into the mix, but that's how you can kind of change the tone of it if needed. There is changing the length. You want to make it shorter. You want to make it longer. Do you want to summarize it or do you want to simplify it? These are pretty self-explanatory, but if needed, maybe it was a little bit too long for your liking. Make it shorter too short, make it longer, and so on and so forth. And everything else is pretty much going to be self-explanatory, all right? So let's go back one more time here. We have this, and then we have the home section. All right, so we did our ideas. We created new content, but what about generating a month of content in minutes? Let's click right here. So choose from five types of content. We have multiple Instagram, LinkedIn, X or Twitter, blog post, or Facebook post. Let's say we're going to be going with X here. So what is this specifically going to be about? Uh, let's give me a moment here and I will do this. All right, so here we go. Why golf is the hardest sport? We're going to be using the same topic. Talk about the reasons why and even compare to other sports. Don't use any exclamation points. I put this because I found that Blaze many times can do this. So if you put this in there and you don't like exclamation points, this is just something that you can tack in there, okay? Don't use any call to actions. It's not going to be like click the link or anything like that. We just want a fact. We just want facts here and we want to set the record straight. So once again, you can connect your account. If you do that, that's how you can actually just auto post. I don't have an X account, so I'm not going to do that. But this down here, I'll do, I'll fill it in myself. You can do text post only, or you can do custom designs or stock images. And how many posts do you want to plan? So this is going to be five posts. On average, this will be once a week for five weeks. This will be two a week, three a week. Let's just say we're going to do this one. Actually, it's Twitter. Let's go with this one right here. Once again, this is where we can select our brand kit. And of course, more ways to configure if you did want to add anything like that. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Let's generate some posts. Golf demands precision, patience, and mental fortitude like no other sport. It's a game of inches and a test of character. See, I like things like this, me personally, 
There's no calls to action, but if you start posting things like this, people will get an idea of what your page is all about. Plus, if you're on X, you probably have like a golfer, you know, and you have a golf name, but you can do this in any niche as well. And what's great about Blaze is that they're going to allow you to create things like this just so quickly, so easily. You can auto post it, you can schedule it and so on and so forth. But I think all of these are great because it's exactly what I was looking for. There's no exclamation. There's no reach out to me today so I can show you how to get the best fitting glove for your golf grip. You know, there's nothing like that. It's just, this is what I'm all about. This is what I'm talking about here. Just some content for people to digest, see you. And of course, maybe they want to reach out to you. They don't need to, but this is exactly what we are looking to get here. Everything looks good. All right. And what you can do, if you like any of these, you can plan them. You can do like as many as you want. See like two of them and you click on plan. There's going to be two that you can plan. Let's just do one as an example. I'm going to go like this. Let's say it's going to be this date at this time. That's going to be fine. I'm going to name it golf and we can do generate posts. Now, once again, as I said, I don't have an account connected, so you would simply need to do that. So you can schedule as a draft if needed just for this specific purpose, but any account that is connected, that's how you can auto do it. I'm just going to do schedule as drafts. All right, so now when we go back home, if you go down to the calendar right here, you're going to see it right here where you can preview it, you can edit it. And ideally with Blaze, that's how you create just a colossal amount of content. Is that even the right word? How about a metric ton of content, okay? You can schedule it, you can put it in your calendar, and that's ideally how it's going to work. There's so many other features, but all of them really come down to the same thing, whether it's gonna be an email, an ad, something on the marketplace, blog and SEO or social media. I think that this tutorial is gonna at least help you get up and running if you are just getting started, and I really hope that it helped you out in the process. Of course, if you haven't gotten to check out blaze.ai, I highly recommend it. And you can click the link in the pinned comment or the description to get a free trial today. My name is James. Thank you so much for watching and enjoy.